how I believe the Lord showed me how you can bring revival to your own town, city or village, no matter where you live. So, firstly, I live here in England, in the UK. I'll just bring up um, my own village, which is Hensworth. Oh, maybe it's because I, I just clicked off that. So here we are. So this is my this is my town, the town of Hemsworth, um, and this is um, like a water park near it and surrounding villages as well. And you know, there's nothing particularly special about my town or village. It's an old uh, mining town. There's been lots of pits and collieries um, around this around this area. But I do believe the Lord is going to bring revival to this town. Um, so basically, in Hemsworth, there are quite a lot of large fields around. Uh, probably better put under this 2D. There we go. And I always envis envisaged. Um, having some kind of um, tent revival in Hemsworth and it's on my heart you know for a, a revival to come for someone uh, you know someone who can heal someone who can revive the people to come and you know just like they did in the like 70s and 80s and set up revival tents and come to Hemsworth and you know po possibly thousands of people could be saved I mean I think in this town there's like uh, at least 30,000 people so it's it's quite a substantial number, and if you if you're thinking about well, what kind of place, where could they bring, you know, a, a tent revival to Hemsworth? Well, there's a few places. The biggest place is actually here. Um, and I used to go. This is um, what what used to be called the high school. So this, this is the school that I went to uh, when I was, you know, a teenager, and the school has. A lot of fields. It's got a lot. Of, I mean, I, I used to, I used to even live up here when I was a kid. I used to go walking uh, with my dad, uh, and my brother. You know, walking through these trees, walking our um, Labrador at the time, and the, these are some really big fields. I mean, there's also a car park right here, uh, and it's you know okay sized car park, and you can park around the edges edges as well when they have open evenings at school. Uh, they open up this field here, and extra cars can come park on the field. So there's plenty of car parking space. So you would think that this would be the perfect place for the Lord to bring revival. Set up a massive tent here, loads of car parking space, loads of people could be healed. But no, this place is not on my heart for revival. Uh, and this is what why I believe the Lord is in this situation. There's a smaller field right here. Now, when I was a child... Um, This this little field used to have a park right there, and we used to call this the little park, and this big park used to be called the big park. So this is actually Valehead Park, but everyone called it the big park because it's a lot bigger next to be a golf course. And this this little field here used to be called the little park, and now it's got a couple of football pitches, and it's like got two football pitches and a, and a smaller one there. And the park used to be here. Uh, incidentally, I always like to connect my videos together. I've talk, my last video was talking about um, you know the death of the Queen and, and King Charles, and I was saying I've always seen seen King Charles once, and uh, the time when I saw him is when like twenty five years ago or whatever. This was actually opened up because it used to be like a a pit around around about here, so it wasn't like a park. And uh, I think well, Prince Charles at the time landed round about here. Oh no, it was here. Uh, oh no, I can get my bearings. I'm about to hear my stomach rumbling in the background. Yeah, round about here, um, in his helicopter. And I stood around here as he uh, opened the park. But anyway, back onto my video. So this used to be known as Little Park, and right next to Hemsworth Cemetery. And my heart is for the Lord to bring a revival tent to this park, which in the natural wouldn't make much sense because it's got the tiniest car park ever, 
whatever. You can fit about 10 cars or whatever down there. You could put a revival tent on there. I mean, maybe they could actually open up some of the, the, the grounds for, for cars to come. But this is way smaller. I mean, look at the size of this little park uh, compared to the Hems of High School fields. This one's like five, six times as large. But my heart is not for that. And I don't know why, but, you know, the Lord has his ways. And right here where these houses are now that I'm pointing out, this is where I used to go to school as a young child from um, about six, seven, I think. And on this ground before houses were built, um, there was a school here. And it was actually called Archbishop Holgate. Um, so it was a school um, named after some kind of Christian Archbishop. So for all I know, uh, during his time at school, Archbishop Holgate prayed for revival to come to this field. And maybe that's why it's special. I don't know. Maybe it's because there's a cemetery right next to it and the dead will even be raised. I don't know. <laughs> Very freaky. But anyway... It's this field, what the Lord is on my heart to pray for. And I was praying to the Lord, and um, I felt as though I need to go and actually anoint some grass seed and go and spread some grass seed on the field. Um, and I was praying to the Lord and saying, Lord, if, I mean, this could just be all, all in my head, you know, me wanting a revival, but the revival won't come, but I'll just have faith, there's nothing wrong with that. So I said, to, I pray to the Lord, if it is your will that I um, go and anoint this field um, with prayer, oil and seed, would you um, show me in a way that only you know how, uh, that you are you are with me on this and I'm not just doing this for nothing. Um, so I had some prayer oil. I, I, I got some prayer oil from uh, Pastor Patrick Winfrey, who's a prophet who does videos online and he's prayed over this along with the prayer team and I prayed over it with, along with everyone else online and I got some so I wanted to just get some of this this prayer oil and just mix it in with some grass seed there's nothing special about this you know if, you, if you're not a Christian you think well what's he doing it's not some kind of potion it's just a point of contact so that this prayer oil is on the seeds so when the seed goes into the ground it's like a point of a point of contact it's symbolic in a way that, you know, many Christians have prayed over them, this grass seed, which is going into the ground. And it's just a point of contact, you know, to um, just to increase my faith in the endeavour and for people who are prayed over this oil, you know, in their spirits, they're praying over this endeavour too. So where two and three are together, there the Lord is. So that's why I wanted to just get some prayer oil and mix it into the seed. And would you know it, you know, I think the day after, or maybe two days after I prayed this, um, I went into my shed and I found like a big, uh, well not a big, well there was a big, uh, I bought a big sack of grass seed last year and I thought I used it all. So I didn't think I had any. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I just walked into the shed and there was like a few handfuls of this grass seed left in the bottom of this sack. On the top shelf, I haven't noticed for months, and it's just there in front of me. I thought, whoa, how weird is that? I mean, I think the day before, I moved something out of the way, maybe on the top shelf, and that's why it was revealed to me, but I never noticed it the day before. And it was just bizarre. There's another reason why I believe the Lord is in this, that he gave me the grass seed to use. So, I got the grass seed, mixed in the prayer oil, and um, went, um, instead of walking my dog, who's a, a Springer Spaniel, uh, so he loves, he loves walking, so, rather than uh, walk him where I normally walk him, um, I walked him down here. So, pretty much, I uh, I think I parked in this little car park down here. Oh, so there's, a, there's another little car park where people could park. And then uh, I walked up here uh, with my dog. Um, and then I walked right to this corner. So, I haven't actually walked up this field for ages um, to spread some uh, seed. I mean, when I was a child, you could just walk across this field and then you could walk down this field. Um, I mean, I used to live on this road down here, so you could just literally just walk across down here and there used to be a path from there to there and you could walk down to the big park. And on the way down, you could just, you could just turn up this bit and go into the little park. But now it's a football field. I went and discovered that there's a big green fence going all the way around it. I did have a look on Google Maps first and saw there's a fence, but I thought I might be able to just... I saw that there was a, a gate down here. I thought I might still be able to walk through, but it, it was locked with a padlock. 
So I had to walk around the perimeter. So basically, I start off from here. So I've got a couple of um, videos as well. Uh, so I start off from there. And um, basically, I just, here's my, my grass seed. I just uh, put it into a bag because I um, you know, anointed it with that prayer oil. So here's my dog, by the way, Dash. He's uh, loving it on the field. So basically, I just went down. I just threw the the grass seed actually over the fence and through the fence and prayed to our Lord that uh, the grass seed will get to the place where it needs to go. And I also pray that, that you know even if you know the exact location of a tent, uh, you know a bird would come and just pick up some grass seed <laughs> and take it and drop it off of the place where the tent should be. So I don't know where the Lord would put the tent, but uh, so there's my grass seed again. Um, but I don't know where, where the Lord will put the tent, but uh, I trusted in the Lord that uh, the grass seed will get to that exact location. You know, maybe a bird could take it, maybe the wind could take it, maybe some kind of rabid wild mongoose could, you know, run up from the field and take one in his mouth and run to the centre of the field and drop it off. I, I don't know. I mean, incidentally, this this field now where they're growing, like, uh, I don't know what they're growing, some kind of crop. Um, when I was uh, like a little kid, it always used to be uh, like a cornfield or oilseed rape uh, with those yellow flowers on the top. And uh, I used to go in there and uh, make mazes out of it. And when the farmers came and, and, and chopped all the wheat down and stuff and there's like straw left, um, we used to um, make a pile underneath the swings and jump from the swings in, into the wheat. Oh, pretty cool. But anyway, so basically that's what I did. And... Um, I did this, you know, prayed about it. I prayed when I was there, that in the name of Jesus, you know, bring revival um, to this park, to Hemsworth. So I mean, th this can be done no matter where you are in the world. So if you're watching this and you think that you can't do anything for the Lord, if you're sat at home watching YouTube and, you know, you think, what could I do? And it's like, well, do you have anywhere in your town where somebody could put a revival tent? You can do the same thing. It's like you don't... You don't need anyone else in particular, although you can get your, your other, if you're a Christian, you can get your other Christian friends you know, to pray as well, but you don't have to. There's something that, that just you could do. Um, I mean, even if you're not saved, <laughs> ask Jesus into your life right now and ask him to save you and to use you straight away and do this then. The first act as a Christian, you don't actually need prayer oil. It's just, it, it's just helpful. Get some oil for yourself, pray over it. If you've got no oil, just get some grass seed, pray over it. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Use this seed to bring revival to my town. And just go out, get some seed, and just throw it where the Lord leads you to throw it. Pray about where the Lord will put a revival tent in your town. And go and sow some seed in it. So even after this, I was... Uh, I was thinking, well, sh should I do a video encouraging other people to do the same thing? So I asked the Lord, would you show me something to show me that I'm on the right track? And I, I think it must have been, like, I even forgot. I just totally forgot that I prayed it. I was just going going to work the next day, or maybe it was two days after. I do believe it was the next day. Stepped out of my white truck, and if you watch my videos before, my white truck represents my Christian ministry, ministry online. So, <coughs> basically, I stepped out of my truck. This isn't the photograph, this is a recreation, because it first happened at work. And a tent peg just fell out of my truck onto the floor. Yes, this is, this is my lace undone. And it, here is a close-up. So, this, this is what happened. So, it, it happened at work. Uh, it fell out near my feet. If you watched my videos before, the Lord shows you things by throwing things at my feet. I mean, this tent peg must have been in my truck from. Uh, I suppose I just noticed that as a sycamore leaf, on uh, sycamore seed on my truck. Weird as well. So anyway, I just noticed that. So <laughs> here I have a tent peg and a sycamore seed on my truck. But anyway, so so basically, it fell out at work, fell by my feet, and then. I think on the same day when I came back home from work, I got back out of my truck, and even though I put the tent peg back in my truck, 
thought it was like fairly secure just under the seat it fell back out again at my feet again um, and so I thought oh I need to take a picture of this I just put the peg back on the floor and uh, took a picture so it was round about that area where it fell so that's a good enough confirmation for me that the Lord is in this endeavor and not only that he's in it for anybody across the world I mean just think if there was a worldwide movement where people in their towns and villages and cities prayed over some grass seed and went into uh, into a field and just sowed that grass seed and prayed over it that the Lord would bring a revival tent to your town uh, I mean what I've been praying for what's on my heart is for um, I don't know why but an American an American evangelist uh, preacher to come and preach revival to the people in my town and I don't know why but it's, it's, it's particularly in my mind it's an American an American evangelist that I'm praying will come um, for whatever reason I believe that that's the way that the Lord is leading my prayers on the matter so thanks for watching uh, if you've gone and done this leave a comment below uh you, you know to encourage others and not as a, any kind of boast but you know as an encouragement to others that you know it's a simple really easy thing that you can do for the lord uh and as long as you don't want to get in trouble for going spreading grass seed on some private property or whatever but you know leave that into your hands and just pray about where you should actually spread the grass seed um so I mean, just just come if you've done it, you know. Even leave a comment, even tell the location of, of where you've done it, and just you know share this video with your friends, and you know, just 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 think, you know, this could help bring in you know the worldwide revival that will come in uh, near these end times. So thanks for watching, um, and Lord willing, uh, I shall be making a new video shortly.